Okay, here we are on the GUA again. Let's say I've come out on that. I've got a flashing light, as I've shown you in earlier videos, on the ignition control here, but nothing is going on. There's no burner, fan, anything. Uh, the uh, combustion blower comes on, stays on, runs till the moon turns green, but never does fire, and I get a flashing light. Let's see if we can figure out what could cause that. Okay, we're going to take a look through this little inspection door. Okay, you can see your hot surface igniter is on. If we're real lucky, we'll be able to see the blue of the flame. see it shut down and you can see here I've hooked up my uh, micro amp meter in series with the flame rod and we're gonna see what kind of flame sets we get and you can see we're reading about 1.3 or 1.4 micro amps and there's the sensing wire for the flame rod and I'm going to have to pull off that cover right there okay here's our uh, flame rod right here and I'm gonna go ahead and pull that out and we'll take a look at it and we will clean it okay this one looks pretty clean I'll put a little sandpaper on it anyway Okay, here I am set up again after cleaning the flame rod. Uh, don't pay any attention to the reading before we start. These things usually will prove it half a microamp, but that's, uh, and I don't know why they do like they are, but they do. Well, it's actually went up quite a bit. So it did make a difference going to uh, 2.7 or 8 from uh, 1.3 or 4. So it did make some difference. Most of these things, it's about a half a microamp. Some of them are one microamp uh, that they will uh, fail. It's usually an intermittent failure when it first comes about and it just gets worse and worse. Anyway, if uh, you had a burner coming on and then after about seven seconds shutting off, that's it. Very common on these furnaces. Uh, Virtually all the furnaces use this same kind of brooding system and about the same numbers for all of them. And that's the uh, flame rod check for flame failure on the GUA.